Hello everyone, this is Vagat here, and welcome back to another video on Japanese grammar. Today I'm going to be explaining the conditional ba and ra. So to start off with, we've got conditional ba, which can be translated in English as um, if, you know, um, and it can only be used in present and future tests, tense. So an example of this would be if we were going ame ga um, sureba kenesu or shimasen, as in which means if it's raining, um, I won't play tennis. So how do we get to that weird sound form, whatever? So to make this form for verbs, you've got to get the plain form of the verbs, so au, kaku, tatsu, taberu, whatever. And you change the e, the u sound to an e sound and add ba. So au becomes ae ba, kaku becomes kakeba, tatsu becomes tateba, taberu becomes tabereba. It's pretty straightforward, but difficult to remember. Especially as it doesn't work consistently. It works consistently with the verbs, like each thing has their own thing. So for e adjectives, you drop the e and just add kereba. So yasui becomes Yasukereba, Atsui becomes Atsukereba, and then for na adjectives and nouns, it's a lot easier again. So we just add raba to any na adjectives and naraba to any nouns. So for like benrina, it becomes benri naraba, and for ame, it becomes ame naraba. So for negative forms, they're treated like e. Either adjectives because they all end in nai no matter what. So, like if you've got asubu, that becomes asobanai if we're going to plain negative, and then that becomes asubana kerenba, right? And then if you've got takai and e adjectives, then that's takakunai, and that becomes takakuna keru kereba. I can speak today. And then for a naji adjective, kirena becomes kire janai, which becomes kire janai kereba, which is a bit long, but that's alright. So when you're using this, um, so you start with your two things, so your condition, so if you've got ame ga furu, so like raining, and then tenesu or shimasen, so you, you want to say if it's raining, I won't play tennis. So that just, you change the furu to fureba which is the ba form, and then it becomes amega fure ba tenesu o shimasen. If it's raining, I won't play tennis. And then if we go tenki ga yi, um, fujisan ga miemas. So, if it, so we're trying to say if the weather's good, well, we, I can see Mount Fuji. So, um, tenki ga yokereba. So I'm assuming that's how you do e, but I actually haven't confirmed that. So any actual Japanese speakers, but usually if you've got um, e as in good, then it goes to yo and then whatever, like yokunai instead of ikunai, because that was the old reading. Anyway, so that, but either way, it's going to be close to that. Anyway, tenki ga yokereba, um, fujisan ga miyamasu. So when the weather's good, I'm able to see Mount Fuji, or if the weather's good, I'm able to see Mount Fuji. Now, in the sentence before you use the ba thing, you always replace wa with ga. I don't actually know why. If anyone wants to inform me, please do. But if you've got sonohon ga takakunai, so usually that would be sonohon wa takakunai. So, like, that book isn't expensive. Anyway, kaimasu. So, we're saying we want to say if that book isn't if the book isn't expensive, we'll buy it pretty much. So sono hon ga takaku nai no, sorry. Sono hon ga takaku na kereba um kaimas. So if the book's not expensive, we'll buy it. Anyway, now for conditional ra. So this is formed by adding ra to the plain pass negative. Of any verb, right? I mean, the plain past form of any verb relative. So, if you've got um, kau, and then that goes to kata, which goes to katara, 
or if you've got, I mean, that's obviously to buy, um, Hikui, which is like wide, oops, that's a typo, um, then that becomes Hikukata, which becomes Hikukatara, so you're just adding ra once you've got it. Shizukana becomes Shizukadatta, which becomes Shizukadatta ra, and Ame becomes Amedatta, which is Amedatta ra. So when you're using this, if it's in the past, it sort of becomes like when, and if it's in the future, it becomes like an if. So if we're going sono hanashi o shitara, um, minna pikuri shimashita. So, um, because like, um, I said that, I said, um, that well, every so that's what I'm saying. Everyone, minna, was surprised, um, that I spoke about that, or that, that was spoken about. So. Yeah, that to speak. Um, that and you did it, and like, when you spoke about it, and then obviously everyone was surprised. <laughs> and then again, so if we're going chizu so, or mitara, like when I saw the map, um, sugu wakari masu I immediately like saw immediately sugu, and then saw or understood or whatever. So like it became clear when I saw the map. So that translates through. And then if we're going in the present or future, it literally it's just interchangeable with ba. So if we're going amega futara, and it also remember it's still plain past that's changing to the right getting the right edge to it. So amega futara en soku ni ikimasen. So if it's raining, um I won't go on the excursion. Or <coughs> Ashta itengi datara. So, um, tomorrow if the weather's good, um, uh, and this is where Jishu comes in handy because I have forgotten the pronunciation of that. It means like sightseeing, um, but I just can't remember how it's pronounced. It's like gen. I'm going to have to Google it. But anyway, Jishu, valuable resource. So just jishu.org and you put in whatever you need to find. Enter. Wait a moment because strain internet's bad. And then realize it's Ken Butsu. I was close. Anyway, so that's Jishu, very valuable resource for any Japanese student. Or isn't a Japanese person for that matter. I swear there's times it comes in useful. So, um, Ashita i tenki. So, if the weather's good tomorrow, um, kenbutsu ni ikimasu ka? So, will you come sightseeing or whoever it's directed to? Come, like, to uh, inquiring if they'll come sightseeing. So, yeah, that's how you use ba and ra. I know that was a bit of a longer video and explanation, but it's a mildly complex, but pretty easy to get. You know, all pretty straightforward, simple rules. Um, yeah, so please, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. If you enjoyed or found it informative, leave a like and subscribe. Um, I'll put all the rules down in the description so you can just copy and paste them to wherever your references are. So yeah, please enjoy. Thanks for watching, this has been Vega to you, and goodbye.